In my last tutorial, we looked at using VLC to stream audio out to the web. Today we're going to do the same thing using VLC, but we're going to do it from the command line. So in case you don't want a GUI interface, a graphic user interface, or if you're running on a headless server so you don't have a monitor and you have no need for a GUI interface, this is how you would start it up from the command line. So we're going to start off, we're just going to type VLC and then we're going to choose the file that we want to stream and I'm just going to pick some music from my music directory and I'm going to say dash dash s out which I believe stands for stream out telling it that we're streaming the audio out we're not just going to play it on this computer and then inside single quotes we are going to say pound standard And uh, now, oh, type everything right there, standard. And then inside squiggly brackets, we're going to give it some little information here. We're going to say access equals HTTP, because that's the type of streaming we're doing. There are other options I haven't really played with. If you look at the GUI interface, you'll see them. But HTTP, uh, just keep it the simple. Then we're going to say comma. Mux. Now, I don't know exactly what Mux stands for. I'm sure somebody will comment and tell me, and I probably should have Googled it so that I don't look too stupid here. But uh, uh, basically, it's going to be the format that we're outputting, and I'm going to say OG in this case. And then we're going to say DST for destination. And I'm just going to say localhost. Now, you can stream this audio to a server where people can connect to it. So if you have a public server and you want to stream audio from your private computer, which is behind a firewall router, and uh, you can just basically forward the audio to the server, then people can connect to the server. But I'm just going to do localhost, so that I'll be streaming it as if my computer was the server. Uh, and then we're going to say colon and a port. By default, uh, we're going to go with 8080. I think it's the default for... You can use pretty much any port, although 8080 I think is the default for streaming audio. Uh, and that is it. If we hit enter here, you see that it starts playing VLC and uh, it's playing the song here and you don't hear it once again because it's streaming. But we got the GUI interface. How do we prevent this happening? That's the main part of this tutorial. Close that, run the same command, but what we're going to do is dash capital I for interface and we're going to say dummy. So it doesn't have a real interface. Well, hit enter and you'll see that it starts up again, but we don't get the GUI interface. And I can come down here and I can use any media player I want that can stream audio, and I'm going to use M player. And I'm going to say HTTP localhost, since that's my server, and the port, and we'll hit enter. And once again, it will cache it and start playing the song wherever it is inside the. Uh, the file that we're playing. Now one other thing you can add to this is you don't get much output here in the uh, server part of the terminal. Uh, let's hit uh, control C to kill that. We're going to come here and we can go dash VVV and this will give us a lot more information on what's going on. So you know if, if you want to see and if you're having issues that might help you can find exactly what's going on. But uh, the more information you have, the better sometimes, most of the times. Not necessarily all the times, but most of the times. And once again, we can just run mplayer http colon forward slash forward slash the server colon and the port. And you may not hear it too well, but the music is playing out of my speakers now. And that is how you stream audio with VLC from the command line without a GUI interface. I thank you for watching, and I hope that you watch or visit filmsbychris.com. And I hope that you have a great day.